So, in today's video, I am going to be making something, creating something DIY. Love the DIY. Okay, so I have this gimbal, it's DJI Osmo Mobile 3. And I also have this really tiny little camera. So, I was thinking, I uh, someone could build an adapter for the gimbal to be able to put my camera on the gimbal. So, I have done some rough sketches. I also had to check out the weight of the gimbal, how much weight it could take. And it can take the max 230 grams. And lucky for me, I have weighed my camera and it actually doesn't weigh a lot at all. It weighs somewhere around 50 grams. So it's not that much at all. So this might be possible. There's two little plates on the end prototype here. So the plan is that these two plates go like this. And then we have a screw going through both plates on all four sides. And then we can are able to adjust the plates accordingly. And then we can have a screw down the middle uh, on which the camera can be mounted and you can turn it around and move it sideways and etc. And then when you have it in the right place, once it's balanced on the gimbal, then what you have to do is tighten these screws, which will fix the middle screw in place. And what most cameras use is M6 screws, as they are called on the metric system, which fit most standard cameras, they're a quarter inch. And yeah, I'm gonna have to head off to the store to get some of those, so I'll see you back here. Okay, so I've just gotten back from the hardware store and I have gotten my 6mm thread, threaded screws, nuts, washers which I will be using to weight down Alan's gimbal. Okay, so here we have our two prototype planks and our plans. So first things first, we need to find some wood. I found my piece of wood and now all I have to do is just cut it to the correct sizes on the bandsaw. Finished. I'm varnishing. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to 
just going to dip this kebab stick into the varnish and basically just smear it on with the paper towel. So, let's do this. That was a pretty perfect tear right there. Oh yeah. So we've got our paint and varnish and we just smear it on here like this. coats of varnish there will probably be a third coat of varnish at the very end once I've finished with everything to make it look but for now I have these two plates and the idea is that one of these long screws like this is going to come down the middle of the sandwich in between these two plates like this and then there will be screws like this on each of the, the four ends to the gimbal. So the gimbal is going to be like this and it's going to have two plates like this which go in just like this. I'm just going to put one in now so you get the idea. One's going to go in like this and it's going to be turned like, like this and then I have one screw going through, the camera screwed on camera screwed on on this end and this plate here and then you can use these washers to balance it nicely and get the weight that it needs. So like I said the the weight for the max weight for this gimbal is uh, 270 grams so we've got camera weighing around 50 grams 
It's two plates. And then we're going to take four knee screws. One six times a hundred millimoles screw. And then we're not going to take out all these nuts. I'm just going to put them all in. And we can see it's well under 270. So that will work really well. And then if we need to balance it, more we can use these six more washers which I have and you can obviously just screw those on with some wing nuts. So now I'm going to go to the workshop to drill drill some holes in each of these corners to put uh, the screws through. So I'll be back. Okay, so we have our two planks here and our screw. No, screw. Oh, dirty no. Our screw, and now all we have to do is just find a drill bit which will be able to fit the screw. And I think. I think this one shall do the trick. This one is a quarter inch. So, okay, let's go with uh, the quarter inch. So, what I've done here is I've taken some uh, insulation tape and just tied, taped these two pieces of wood together so that I can get a straight hole through both of the what to do is just fix our draw bits into the draw press make sure it's tight tight like that raise the platform all you gotta do now is just take a ruler and measure uh, from each corner so that you can get this thing perfectly weighted. So I'm going to be doing half a centimeter by half a centimeter for each corner. So half a centimeter and half a centimeter, centimeter. and I am now ready to do the drilling. We have our four holes and it should be straight through both pieces of wood so let's see how it turned out okay so we're back from the workshop and looks like it turned out pretty well so let's have a look just take the tape off and seems to be working pretty well. Now what we need to do is just take some of these nuts. Put this last on. Just like that and make sure it's tight. 
because these 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 nuts are probably never gonna come off again so once we have it up and running so yes so it's looking like so far and then this should just go on like that so we have it on and I'm gonna take some wing nuts four wing nuts three four and these are gonna go on the ends of these washes on the end to try and make it balanced. Okay, so I finally managed to put my device together and it was a bit more hard work than what I thought because uh, I had to balance it and I had to put on these long screws uh, to make it balance properly. And what I also had to do was I had to draw in two new holes uh, sort of in the middle over here to make space for the gimbal to hold this device higher up. So with my mini camera on, this uh, looks like this and it weighs just under uh, 200 I think so it's in the middle between 170 and 230 so that goal was achieved and yeah I'm going to show you now some test footage and comparison between the two uh, converter device so basically it just goes on like this, put those in there, like that. and as you can see it's not completely balanced yet, so you just have to slide these up, move some parts just to, until it gets completely balanced. <laughs> joystick up down and I can reset and lift up and lock it so I can turn it there is only one downside and that is that I might be able to find another way in the future but for now this arm is being blocked by the screw over here so you're not able to like tilt any further than that tilt the arm so yeah but you do get very stable movements and i will show you that now and it does weigh under 230 grams which is amazing so i'll show you now what it looks like turn out pretty well as a whole but then yet again this is a foam gimbal it's not meant for these small cameras or other contraptions on it so I think it yeah I think it turned out pretty well for what its purposes it's not at all that bad 
I mean, it's not as good as if the phone was on here, uh, but it's still a lot better than handheld. handheld. So, if you like this video, please consider subscribing, and thanks very much for watching. See you all next time. Another one done.